one year later. <laughs> one whole year since I cut my hair completely like bold, <laughs> basically like a boy. And this is the result. Um, I'll show you all of it. It has grown pretty well. I'm very happy with where it is. It's a good length, but most importantly for me, it is strong and healthy. And that was very, very important um, during this whole time that I've had natural hair is that it would be healthy. I'm not in a rush for my hair to go to my shoulders to go to a certain length because actually what I found out is that the longer it grows, the more work it is. Um, it is a lot of work the more it grows. So actually, for me, it's always been about it being healthy, healthy, healthy. And my hair, I'm happy to say, is quite healthy. So I'm very happy. So I'm going to let you know what I've, what I'm doing now that it's one, uh, one whole year of natural hair, what has changed and stuff. The washing. Nothing much has changed since the last video I did on my natural hair wash routine. What I have discovered is that when I use black hair shampoos, which tend to smell nice, like for example, this Elasta QP one, I used um, a few washes ago, my hair shrinks a lot. There's something in them. They make my hair shrink. And natural hair girls, we know about shrinkage. I don't like it. It's it's disheartening because you know how long your hair is and when it's shrinking, it's so upsetting because you, you know that's not the true length and you want the true length to show. So I'm trying to really avoid the black hair shampoos and I'm actually doing more co-washing. So I'm just using my same uh, conditioner, my Tresemme um, Restructuring Deep Conditioner that I showed in my natural hair wash routine video, which I'll link below. I'm just still using this. And when I do shampoo, I shampoo with Tresemme instead of a black hair um, shampoo because I just don't have time for shrinkage. That's something else I'll cope, uh, I will talk about later on. Styling. So now that my hair is longer, um, it is more enjoyable to style. I find there's a lot more you could do, you know, you could play around with it a lot more. I tend to wrap my hair actually. I'm not creative enough, I feel, to style my hair. Um, and my main importance is actually to protect it from this cold English weather. So I tend to wrap it. So I just got really creative with wrapping and stuff. And what I do when I wrap is I will, sorry, I will first use a, um, thingy cap, a wig cap, put that on, that flattens my hair. You know, it's a nice surface to then go ahead and use a scarf and create a style with. Because when, if I just try put a scarf over this, it's going to be all bumpy and stuff. By using a wig cap, you smooth it out. So that's a tip. So yeah, I have loads of scarves. This is just two of like my massive collection. Um, I have tons of scarves now because I'm always wrapping my hair. And you know, that's a tip for people. Get creative with the wrapping, uh, YouTube wrapping styles for hair and stuff. Um, I also use these bands and these bands, both from H&M, these, they have a wire inside. I don't know if you can see. There's a wire inside and the wire is coated with this fabric. So you can mold them and they're really cool. So first I'll put this on and then I will go ahead and put this on. Whoop there. And you know, like push my hair up and stuff. So yeah, that's what I've been doing with styling and if I do want to like just style it um, I use a lot of bobby pins and for example if I wanted to just flatten this bit here I would just grab a bobby pin 
so yeah that's what I've been doing I, I really don't like using gel and stuff like that on my hair so that's what I've been doing for styling everyday hair care I am one of these people who I believe is very fortunate because I'm just blessed with good hair jeans because I'm very lazy when it comes to daily hair care actually um, ever since that video I filmed my daily natural hair care routine which I'll link below not much has changed I don't really even do that routine no more because that routine was very important when my hair was short to provide moisture to provide water now it's this length um I'm not watering it as much um and moisture is really when I feel it's needed so anyway when I do do something what I will tend to do is put both my at one leave-in conditioner and my oh where is it anyway my can two leave-in conditioner as well which like all natural hair girls know about it's back there somewhere I don't want to run and go and get it and leave the video and my own mixture of um, of my share butter um, and what's in here so this is a mixture of share butter jojoba oil sweet almond oil castor oil mixed up and this is just the ultimate moisture basically after I put this in and I've got my leave-in conditioner my hair is really it's just good I tend to really focus on my ends with this product because this my ends dry and that's one of my problems um but when I put this I will really rub it in on the ends I will you know get some smooth my ends with it because dry ends can be a real problem you know you're trying to comb your hair it's all oh smooth smooth get to the end arr, arr, arr. so I do that um what else another new product i'm now using which i'm sure i'm late with is this uh, pure coconut oil i use this because i like the smell <laughs> because i'm obsessed with all things coconut and because coconut oil is good for strengthening hair um, and growing hair as well so i've now added this into my hair care routine it's not in that in this mixture hair um, and actually, I, pro I probably should just pour it in here. But what I do is I just get some on my hand. It's actually gone hard because, you know, coconut oil, uh, f it, it freezes very quick and it's been very cold here in the UK. So it's actually gone hard. I just put a little bit in my palm and moisturize it into my um, scalp and all throughout my hair. This, I don't put so much on my scalp because it's very heavy and I don't want my scalp to get dirty quick. Um, when I am combing my hair, I just tend to use my afro comb. I don't brush, nothing like that. When I do blow dry my hair, and I do blow dry my hair every time, I wash my hair because, quite frankly, I don't know how people deal with styling if their hair isn't blow dried. Me, personally, I can't do twist out and braid out and all those lovely styles if my hair hasn't been blow dried. So what I just do is I put my Heat Defense by Tresemme and I will pack this on because obviously now the hair is longer. Um, again, if I'm going to do like my twists out, my twist outs and my braid outs, I will part my hair in four and I'll use these clips to keep the four ends divided and then I'll deal with one section at a time, as I'm sure most of you do. Um, twists out twist outs for me personally are my savior because my ends really can dry up and do crazy things when i do a twist out there's something about that twisting motion that really locks in moisture so sometimes what i will do is i will twist my hair and leave it for a couple of days just for that moisture to really soak and then i'll let the twist out out um I won't just like twist one evening and let it out the next day because my whole point for doing twist twist outs is to regain moisture in my hair um another thing okay so at night what i will do is i wrap my hair 
with my scarf. Um, if it's just like this, I wrap the whole hair like that. If I've got a twist out or braid out or style that I don't want to mess, what I'll do is I will just wrap um, like the front and the back kind of thing. I'll just wrap the, the beginning basically and push so that the star will remain. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I feel a real sense of accomplishment now that I am one year in. Um, I love my hair now, love it at six months. I was really still like, oh gosh, you know, I'll put my six month um, update down below. I was still like, oh God. Uh. Now I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, I get a lot of people wanting to know what I've done and stuff like that and it's really exciting and I get a lot of stares and stuff. I'm happy, I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling positive about my hair growth and where it's going and you know just happy to be a part of this natural hair community. It's it's amazing, there's a lot of support and there's a it's like a movement almost. Um, so yeah, for everybody out there with natural hair, keep on your journey and just try and be healthy be healthy with your make your hair healthy rather than emphasize growth because that's the most important thing so i hope you've enjoyed this video sorry i've spoken so so much uh bye guys